our project today is to make up this junction box. I call this a junction box. We've got to have a lot of things going on here. First, we've got a light switch coming in here. We've got a main power line coming into this box as well. Here's our light switch. Here's our main power. Here's a separate ground because this is an old building, an old house. I top, tapped into the existing ground line, brought that up in here. It just happens to be a white wire, but I tapped that into a bare copper line. And now I've got this other wire dangling, and this one goes to some can lights that we've been hooking up. If you haven't been checking out my, my videos, you might want to check that out because I show you how to install some can lights some eyeball can lights we'd put those into a kitchen and I'm getting ready to make up the last wire connection okay so I've got to first get this into the box and I'm not sure how much wire I'm gonna need but I'm gonna go ahead and first get a little bit of this wire out of my way try to situate this box in a strategic location so that I could bring this video to you up here in an attic all by myself and I wanted to show you how to do this now I've got a plastic box here I've got to get this wire into the box so first off there's a knockout in the back all in the back just little plastic knockouts and now I have to fish this wire up in here so I gotta bend it and I want it out of there and I've got the wire going over to my light I want to situate it accordingly and that's coming up this is a little purlin brace and it's holding this horizontal piece and that's holding up a portion of the roof these are not trusses or anything this is old style baby okay so gonna just gonna take a little staple like like this here I'm gonna staple that wire within six inches of the box just make them snug you don't have to do it too tight you do it too tight and you could cause problems later on okay so you got to remember what all these wires are for okay but first first things first I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this excess off of here this one's a little long let's just cut that off you got some wire cutters these are kind of smallish ones you can you cut that if it's too hard for you. You can cut one wire at a time. There's three wires in this cable. Okay, here's my wire cutters. They have a next size up that I like, and they're a little bit easier to work with. Such is life, though, right? 